Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. All right, today we are talking about checking return codes inside functions in Bash. That's a little weird. I'm gonna explain what I'm talking about, all right? So let's take a look. What do we have here? We have four programs, okay? We're gonna run through four programs today. Let's take a look at program one. Inside program one, what do we have? Well, we have two functions to find. We have the function named good and the function named bad. And all we do in this program is we execute good and then we execute bad. Super simple, super straightforward. Let's look at the good function. What do we do? We run the command true, and then we echo the return code of true. So you can hear, you can see here, we echo the word good, colon, dollar question mark. Dollar question mark is the return code of the program that ran before it, of the line before it. So dollar question mark here will be the return code of true. Dollar question mark here will be the return code of false. If you're confused, each command and batch, each line will have a return code. This will signify it was successful or not. So if it's zero, it was successful. If it's anything that's not zero, it was a failure, all right? So let's run this and let's see what we get. Program run, okay, perfect. Program one, one uh, ran and we have two lines of output. Good return zero, bad return one. Well, that makes perfect sense because good was successful, so it returned zero. Bad was unsuccessful, it ran the command false and that returned non-zero or in this case one. That's simple, that makes sense. Cool, let's look at program two. So what's going on here? Uh, let's open that up in Vim. So now you can see we are capturing the output of true and false. So we're running output equals true and then output equals false. We're doing this dollar parenthesis notation to actually execute the command. So we're executing the command true, we're executing the command false and we're storing the output. We're not doing anything with the output but we're storing it for now. So what happens if we run this? Well. We can see good is zero and bad is one. Just like our first program, that makes perfect sense. The exit codes line up with the command that's being run. So the exit code for true is shown and the exit code for false is shown. Awesome. What about program three? Now program three is pretty cringe. This is something you guys would write, all right? So what do we do here? Well, we have two functions, good and bad. And as you can see, it's almost identical to program two, except we have this local keyword. We're trying to be good. We're inside a function, so we're gonna make a local variable. This variable is not global. It will not exist outside this function. So we make a local variable called output and we set it equal to the output of the command true. And then down here, we do the same with the command false. What happens if we run it? What was it program three? Good return zero but bad also returns zero. So what is going on? We know that bad should return one. Why did it return zero here? Well, the exit code that we checked right here, we're not checking the exit code of false. We're checking the exit code of the local keyword. The local keyword is telling us if it was successful or not in creating a variable named output and setting it equal to the command false. A bit confusing, if you've never seen this, this seems a bit odd. It is a bit odd, but this is what's happening here. So if you wanna turn this cringe script into something base, we can look at program four. This is where I fixed this issue. Basically, we have to break the local definition and the output of the command onto two separate lines. So we have to declare the variable and then initialize the variable here. As long as we do this separately, local will return zero, letting us know that it was successful. And then output, just like in program two, will tell us if it was successful or not. So if we run program four, we get good zero, bad one, and that is what we expect. And that is local return and exit codes in Bash.